Good morning. There are two highlights in the life cycle of the academic life cycle of RBNI. One is the uh, December conference, which is internal. This is one year, and the next year it's the winter school. Uh, this year we were very lucky to put together a wonderful team of speakers, many from outside Israel, some from Israel. I personally look forward to hearing these lectures in the coming uh, five days. When we first arrived here, the view was beautiful, and the people were smiling, and the facilities were huge, and, and it, was, uh, it was really um, welcoming. I hope uh, you find this talk interesting. Please interrupt me if you have questions throughout the talk. Classically, uh, most commercial block copolymers are elastomers. So to make a microscope out of this, you take the same FIM technology and you, you put it up here. I like the way that the lectures are prepared because they give uh, introduction to their, uh, to their lecture so everyone can understand on what they're working and what's the theory and after that they give some practical uh, information of their uh, research or again the theory but advanced theories. Just to expand the horizons of all of us, we're going to have here Meir Shalev, the writer, who is going to talk about the process of creativity in literature, uh, in addition to what we do in other, in other areas. great school. I knew about it uh, beforehand, and so I was looking forward to coming and um, it's been uh, very, very rewarding. Very interesting, uh, uh, very good interactions uh, with the students, uh, the other speakers, uh, lots of good science and uh, very nice setting as well. And this, this slide is really the motivation. And, uh, it's, it's very humbling. <laughs> Everyone knows so much about uh, not just their uh, not just their subject area, they know a lot about, uh, about everything, you know. Uh, the other day I was just, you know, in front of the, the poster, the poster uh, that uh, I was just a co-author. I was not presenting, but I was co-author. And so uh, someone, a student from a completely different field, he was doing uh, electrical engineering mostly. And when I said some, just, I didn't even mention two or three problems, he already had the five or six ideas that I think I'm going to go back now and try each and every one of them uh, once I get back to the lab. Uh, this group here, I find it's got that spirit that I enjoy so much in this country that is bringing different kinds of people together. Almost everything I will tell you was something I did not expect. So <laughs> we just added to the not expect. I've been writing very much in my notebook because I'm feeling I'm learning things all the time. It also makes me remember things better. So I'm having a very, very good experience here. Uh, and uh, in this cell you see uh, uh, filamentous structures. And it's really nice to meet a lot of people here with uh, different uh, interests field of interest and uh, to talk with them, to see how sometimes they research the same subject but it, from a different point of view and it's really interesting to see how they see it. And the atmosphere is really good. This year we are going to uh, go beyond the academics. We are going to have one session that is devoted to industry and that promises to be something unusual and most delightful. I see a lot of good ideas in the university that never even get off the ground because they simply don't have that um, management that attracts them. Now all DNA viruses known to date Replicate within. What really happened exceeded my expectations. It was a lot more fun than I thought. It's a lot more interesting. I didn't think I'd be interested in a lot of things that I ha don't have that much knowledge in. And the people here explain it very well. And it's, um, you can see a lot of effort was put in it. It's a very great experience.
great pleasure to see how this endeavor grows and grows and grows. And this is already the third uh, school, third winter school in nanoscience and nanotechnology. More people, uh, more subjects, and people are as enthusiastic as, as they were in the first uh, school. So I'm very happy, very pleased to see them. Well, as they say, every good thing comes to an end. Uh, this is the end of the third winter school. This time, it was a real winter school. People laughed at us when we put snowflakes on the announcement. But if you went outside and you looked at the hills about three kilometers from here, you could have seen the, the snow. Maybe you can do it as you go out. As I told you at the beginning of the, of the school, uh, bringing together such a large number of uh, leading uh, authorities in their fields is not an easy task. Uh, I'm delighted that uh, the people who came actually agreed to come and as you notice they have put quite a bit of effort in building the lectures to suit the atmosphere of the school. Let's not forget the, uh, the uh, areas outside nanoscience and nanotechnology that we enjoyed during the, this week. And I would like to thank all the, all the cranes for collaborating so nicely with us. It's, uh, the poster awards. So uh, the third prize goes to Gilly Bisker. Congratulations. Uh, Gilly did her work uh, under the supervision of uh, Dvir Yelin. Thank you. The second prize goes to Sasha Berdichevsky. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. She did her work under the supervision of Do Sediktar, who is here. The first prize goes to Eran Ivanir. So, under the supervision of Do Sediktar. So thank you very much, everybody, and bon appetit.